I'm back in this bitch. I'm back in this bitch. That's the problem I have. Fantano's opinions can sometimes be lauded as fact and it's never going to be a fact. Uh, the only fact that we have out there is that these artists are artists and that they make rap music. <laughs> that's that's the fact. That's the fact in it. Um, their music being good, that's not a fact. That's objective as fuck. Every, every artist making music, that's objective. That's always right. going to be subjective. Just because an artist is has the reputation as a good artist does not mean that they instantly make good music and that they that they, that's not a fact that all that's subject to change kendrick lamar could go from a legend to one of the worst fucking artists of all time in a split like the the, the, the amount of time chance the rapper <laughs> yeah like he he went from perspective goat to you know just a nigga in the rap don't game give a fuck like, what he up to now. <laughs> yeah like people don't give a shit no more that nigga just dropped some country cover to something that Nelly did and niggas talking about something, man, this is why your, this is why your shit ain't gonna blow up. You know what I'm saying? This, no one give a fuck about that next album coming out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if, imagine if, if that album would have, did, like, did well. Um, Big Day, I, it, was it, was it called? The Big Day, yeah. Yeah, right. I, I almost forgot the fucking name of the day. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop with Chance the Rapper. I'm like, no fucking sense. I'm out, out. shit. That you nigga, know what's crazy? Nigga, so, sp- speaking of Chance, this brings up the perfect conversation I'm going to say next after you done. You said, uh, what about Chance? Um, I was saying that people, if if Chance would have, if the big day would have done good, Chance would have, would have, would have, would have, he'd have been on some Joey Badass shit right now. Niggas would have been sucking his dick hard. After he would have been certified. Happened. He would have been considered one of the greatest rappers from the last decade. Yeah. Right. He probably would have came out with an album by now because uh, Chance wait three years to drop albums. It, he he dropped The Big Day in 17, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or 18, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was 18. 19, no. Big um, Day came out in 2019. Okay, so what is it, 2022? Oh, so Chance might be coming out this year. This year. He already been dropping some singles that I ain't been paying attention to. But <laughs> I don't listen Shit, to it. I guess uh, three three years. It's been three years. So but with, that, with that being chance said, I- though, what I wanted to mention was that when it comes to chance, somebody had like I understand what dude was coming from, and I've never heard this viewpoint before. Somebody said there's a difference between being irrelevant and falling off, and they was talking about Chance the Rapper when they said it because um it was that nigga uh, Joey debating hip hop. I, I don't think it's not the same person. No, Joey is somebody else. It was this Twitter account, like, debating hip-hop. And somebody has said that Chance the Rapper isn't... He hasn't fallen off, but he is irrelevant. And somebody was like, what you mean? And the dude was like, yeah, Chance is irrelevant in the sense of people don't really give a fuck about what he up to nowadays. Like, we're not checking for him. But at the same time, we can't say that he fell off because Chance the Rapper hasn't had a moment like Lil Pump where he dropped the album and ain't nobody even know that he did. And niggas just don't care to listen to his music no more. Like, that's not the case. So that's why he was like, I get why some people say Chance irrelevant, but he hasn't necessarily fell off because the nigga ain't released the project in two years. Right. It's not, it's, not like he out here, it's not like he out here dropping projects and niggas not listening. <laughs> he, just, he just ain't put out nothing. <laughs> Right. Um. I. No one. At the same time. Um. Chance has put out singles. Um. He has been a part of some music. He has featured and stuff. And um. If 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 we're gonna be honest with ourselves, the ring that he once had to his name has fell. Has did this is went away. It's disintegrated. It's gone. His glow. Whenever he used to drop music, it used to be a mainstream buzz to him. Now. It's he's a song enhancer. There's a lot of song enhancing artists out here to where they don't exactly make the quality better. They just make the song seem better to listen to. Whereas you could say Rich the Kid's in the song and that's the reason you listen to it is because a popular artist is in it. Not just because it's Rich the fucking kid because at that point, if you listen to Rich the Kid's music because Rich <laughs> the Kid, you want Rich the Kid's fucking, uh, you know, lyrics, like something wrong with you. But um at that point, you I'm know, just going to assume you related to him. Like, who the fuck listening to Richie right. Kid other than his brother? Right. Or willingly, <laughs> willingly with a gun, a gun <laughs> on a damn head and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got to, you know, nigga. Nah, bro, there's better artists out there. You can listen to a, a nigga that just started making music yesterday. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Richie Kid ain't it, brother. But uh, yeah, it, Chance is that guy now. To me personally, I still think that he has a slight amount of mainstream buzz onto his name. I do. 
But at the same time, if it's Chance's song, Chance is not going to get too much of a listen. Chance is not going to get too much attention just because his name now has less, you know, again, it has less meaning to it now. Um, but him and three other rappers on a song, it's like, oh, Chance, I know who Chance is. Drake, I know who Drake is. Uh, Rich the Kid, I know who they all are. I'm going to listen to this song and see if it's good. I'm going to see who carries this motherfucker. I would hope Chance carries a song with fucking Drake and damn Rich the Kid on it. Not to say that Drake is bad or anything, but damn, if you're getting watched by Rich the Kid in 2022, we need to consider retirement. <laughs> um, but uh, if that's the case, then the big day wasn't a fluke. He really is a trash. <laughs> no, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a fucking fluke. And maybe, maybe, maybe Trust Fund Babies was actually a fucking good album. Shit. I don't know. I'd have to reevaluate if Chance getting watched by fucking niggas that's getting watched by Lil Pump out here. But, um, yeah. Um, that that stigma he did not fall off chance did not fall off not yet but he is on his way to it i believe personally i think he is on his way to falling off because not to he has not been silent these three years his album has been out people have been checking it out it's a a couple of them songs have become critically acclaimed but at the same time um he's had other songs come out Hot Shower is a song that keeps getting referenced, and that song came out uh, a little around the time that I've been saying they get referenced because people be flaming it. <laughs> that's, what, right. that's the only time I see it being referenced. And um, sadly enough, uh, Chance the Rapper is already a nostalgic fucking rapper. <laughs> so it's like people want him to go back to his acid rap days, that being me. Um, people want to go him want him to go back to his old ways, and it's like, bruh, this nigga's not even twenty fucking. And the, this nigga's what is he 26 some shit like that i don't know how old any is <laughs> shit he he can't be older than uh 25 if he is we talking about a 20 year old falling off <laughs> which is like it's not <laughs> impossible but it's like y'all was just writing his y'all was just writing his dick tough when, when he dropped uh, uh coloring that nigga chance to rap he was amazing was a rap <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, not even that. Michael Carr Williams had one year. I was that, bro. Yeah, that nigga. That nigga nah, bro. I, I, I give you better. I give you better. Um, a, a rookie, a rookie that did good, did good for a couple years, but not as good as the first year. Tyreek Evans. There you go. Perfect. Right That's there. the second person I was thinking about after I said Michael. <laughs> Ty, Tyreek, motherfucking Evans. I even go Malcolm Brogdon. Damn near. Um, <laughs> Shit, a nigga that a nigga that do good one year, but just 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 don't just don't catch that vibe all them motherfucking years. Even though they they still get called good, but it's like, you know, how good are you? You're not really that different from everybody else. You're <laughs> supposed to be you're supposed to be a franchise player, not a damn. You know what I'm saying? Not not supporting cast. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I forgot. I almost forgot, bro. We gotta we gotta throw in some obscure basketball players just to appeal to uh Cartier Glory. I know they might be listening to this shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, this is not just Boom and <laughs> Chaos. This is also the uh, the Darian Collison and the Solomon Hill show. <laughs> oh, hell, nigga, I ain't Solomon Hill. Let's get <laughs> I'll be CJ Miles at this bitch. I'll be fucking. <laughs> I'll be motherfucking. Uh, I'll be damn Troy Murphy, motherfucker. I'll be. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting Mike Mike Dunleavy. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the Dan, the Danny Granger in the AJ Price show. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be I'll be um I'll be Aaron Aaron. What's that motherfucker's name that won the most improved award? Aaron um, Brooks. <laughs> Aaron Brooks. There we go. That boy in China. Aaron right Brooks and Aaron Watson show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Aaron Gray. That that, 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 that fucking <laughs> grizzly. Nick nigga from the fucking jazz. <laughs> but who, what was that one nigga that uh that Ricky that uh Ariana was talking about? Oh Isaiah Joe. <laughs> oh hell. she really said that nigga like Joe. he was Iverson. Just be Isaiah Joe. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, is damn, that? that's your that's your representation of nigga averaging point two point right now. <laughs> talking about some he a rookie. That's not no good excuse. Shit. Kate Cunningham a oh, rookie. What the fuck? <laughs> shit. Talking about he a rookie. Uh, I could be a rookie and fucking fight reacts can go to the damn league right now and put up some damn two points. That boy averaging fucking like four or some shit. <laughs> uh, nigga, on a depleted team, no less. Come on, Isaiah Joe. 